Truffle Farm outside of Brawl Academy, going into Melindra's Hope. I'm using a Spirit Spammer Ritualist just because it's kind of the easiest way, I guess, to show this with heroes to speed boost my way to the uh, first group. So one thing I want to mention beforehand is when you do take your heroes here, do not have them in range once you do get near the first group, as you're about to see in a moment, that I flag them away. So I'm flagging the hero heroes away right outside of my aggro bubble, and you notice that they turn grayscale, which means that they are out of my range, and I set my spirits up to go ahead and kill that first wallow. So this uh this farm this week is is a little bit more slow paced than others. Um, depending on your drop rate luck, uh, I only get maybe one to three per run, and there's going to be eight groups total that you're going to be killing. So I killed the first group of wallow. Uh, it's just one enemy, and then I go ahead and run past that large group that I just showed, and now we're going towards where we have six to seven other patrol groups, and we're going to go ahead and kill these. I just got trapped. That's definitely annoying, but sometimes random traps are laid that you have to deal with. And there's nothing you can do about it. Um, I would recommend a speed boost if you can uh, uh, mint, uh, modify your build to what you prefer. I just didn't take speed boost because I needed a maximum damage, especially since in this video at the end I'm going to be showing you killing the boss prior to dying. So it's pretty uh, challenging to kill the boss wallow here without um, a good potential of damage. So all I'm doing now is just killing the patrol groups, and there's a total of 7 to 8 patrol groups, including the boss. If you don't know anything about truffles, uh, truffles are also used in the Cantha New Year, so that's another good way to farm these. For Cantha New Year and also, not just for Nick. So notice I'm trying to chase the group here, and I didn't have time, and I wasn't fast enough, so that patrol group will come back later. And you'll see it in a few minutes, it'll be back. So I never managed to actually pick up that group, so they'll be back in a few minutes. So now that I got the uh, group killed, um, already a few patrols dead, uh, no luck on truffles yet, but now we need to go ahead and see it one more time if there's any more patrol groups on the right side. And I just hold control out and I recognize if there's any coming or not. So there's a group of patrol that came on the left side, so I go ahead and kill this group of wallow. All it is is one wallow per group with a ranger that you have to deal with. The ranger is not needed to kill. So one thing you want to note real quick, you notice that gardener there just used a heal skill. So you want to definitely make sure you don't aggro that group right there. You can kill them, but they're not needed for the farm. Still no luck on any truffles, and we've gotten majority of the groups already done. There's a few more. So I noticed there wasn't any more patrol groups running around, and I'm pretty much no need for me to go ahead and uh, wait for the patrols to come. So I'm going to go ahead and trigger the patrols back here. So this is the area where you don't have to go too far, but see there's a patrol group right there. There's no need for us to go farther back. They're going to go ahead and run around the other way, and they're going to loop back to us since I triggered. So one thing I want to mention is do not chase the patrols like I was doing earlier. That just showed that you aren't going to be able to pick them up in time just because they're faster unless you have a speed boost to make it to aggro them while they're running, which I wouldn't recommend chasing them down. They're going to come to you anyway. So right around this bridge location on the hills is the most stationary area. All right, now that you noticed the patrol group earlier that I was chasing, there's that wallow that I'm about to kill now. That was the enemy group uh, patrol wallow that was running from me earlier that I didn't manage to get but now I managed to get it now so that one did come back it just took a couple of minutes there's the group of wallows I was talking about not to chase after earlier that's a group coming my way now and we go ahead and take out that group So this is, like I said earlier, it's a little mild farm. It's almost AFKable. Um, I don't know for sure if the patrol groups that do circle, if you don't trigger, they won't come. Um, I did sit for 15 minutes, and I never did see the boss come around without me triggering. So let's go ahead and see if we can make it to the boss now. And this is where I just pop a few spirits here, and I run past this group. And I use the spirits just in case I do aggro them to the left, and I summon spirits, and then they'll fight the spirits. All right, so there's the boss I was talking about. You have one more patrol group prior to the boss to kill. 
And this group would have made it to me, but since I'm near the boss already, I'm going to go ahead and kill it while I triggered the boss group, which we're, all we're going to kill is the waller from the boss group. But at the same time, you got to kill the others in order to kill the boss, which the boss only drops one truffle anyway. But if it's part of this farm and it's included in this video, so I figured I'd show y'all. So let's go ahead and finish off this wallow. And then the boss group that I triggered is going to go ahead and run. Well, lucky me, I got my first truffle drop for this run. I think it's truffle or truffle. I said it wrong. But anyway, um, it just got crippled. That's annoying. But anyway, I, I do speed boost uh, 2 to 3x multiplier for the video speed just so you're not watching me do a 15 minute farm. And I cut the time in, into a, core, a third of that just so y'all can see the, the farm at a faster uh, speed rate. So now we're just waiting on the boss to get away from that group. And then we make sure we don't pull both groups at once. And the boss circled right around and patrolled straight to where I'm at. And this is the final end of the video. Um, I wouldn't, If you don't have the proper uh, build set up for this, um, it's very easy for you to die, especially as a spirit spammer. So I, I'm very cautious when I am trying to kill this boss. And it takes about one and a half to two minutes to kill the group. I do die just because of uh, me not worried about using Boon of Creation. I think or later on I do lose it. And um, I'm not having enough energy to spam all of my spirits to keep me alive. And they're not recharged fast enough as well. So there's a lot of different things that take into effect for killing the boss. Just maintain your painful bond on them. Anyway, this is uh, the video for farming truffles. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this and it was helpful. Um, so good luck farming and I appreciate everybody watching. And let me know if you'll have any questions, suggestions for this video or other videos in Guild Wars 1 as well as ideas, comment for truffle farming more efficiently outside of spirit spamming. Later all.